Alright guys, Tactical Rabbit here bringing you the first gameplay commentary on this channel which isn't all about tactics and that. Hope you enjoyed the new intro that I've made, obviously it's not that relevant to this video, but today I was going to do one of the gameplay commentaries that I said I'd do, just basically for you subscribers, not what I'm basing this channel around, but simply for you subscribers to just get my thoughts on some stuff. So the gameplay in the background is a 33 in 3 I believe TDM on Black Ops, the first Black Ops on Nuketown, so obviously this is pretty rare gameplay, you don't see many of these on my channel, so I hope you enjoy that. And basically what I want to talk about is some advanced warfare, so I just thought I'd give you my thoughts on what I think about the game and how I think I'm going to like it, so basically I'm feeling really confident right now towards this game. I really think it's going to be good and I'm really hopeful that it's going to be good. Um, I know they said a few things about this game obviously in the past when they've said stuff about Call of Duties hasn't exactly worked out as we presumed it would. For example obviously the obvious Ghosts Infinity Ward thing, saying there's no quit scoping, saying there's dedicated servers and honestly I was watching a video from Pomage, unreal, like he just got like an eight man or some sort of six, seven, eight man feed. There's a, like a quick scoping feed on the new map Showtime, and I know he's good, but <laughs> considering there's meant to be no quick scoping, that was just insane. Picking my Blackbird, um, it was just ridiculous. So I hope that they actually follow through what they say. They they say obviously you know most innovative Call of Duty ever, whatever, whatever, whatever. But basically they said it's going to be the most skill based COD ever so it's gonna be you're gonna have to have a lot of skill there's gonna be a big skill gap between players and I think that's a really big important thing and I've been looking forward to a COD that has a lot of a big skill gap because you know right now in COD Ghost Black Ops 2 you can camp behind a riot shield with a Remington anyone who comes through the door you know you don't have to aim you just have to know what the buttons on your controller do press the trigger, dead, you know, you don't need to aim with the Remington anyway, you just hit fire it, I mean, <laughs> it's just ridiculous, and obviously God Ghost with the IEDs, you just camp with double IEDs, danger clothes, noob tubes, all that stuff, it's, I mean, it's just pathetic, so the skill gap is something that I'm looking forward to, I've been thinking about all these double jumps, and or they're not actually double jumps, but all these exo abilities, and I think that's really going to add to the skill gap, because I think when you're using these exo abilities, it's probably going to be something like, or this is what I was thinking, that you need to give up your lethal or your tactical to have one exo ability, and as we saw from um, the little five second trailer clip we had, most of you guys will have probably seen that, I'll link that down in the description box below. But that little trailer that we had, those five seconds, basically at the end you saw the guy only had two streaks and he had two extra abilities. So most people are thinking that maybe didn't actually have three streaks because he sacrificed a streak to get an extra extra ability. So what I'm thinking with extra abilities is that you have to sacrifice one of your lethal and tacticals and in order to activate your extra ability you need to hold down your lethal and tactical button while doing whatever to activate the ability. So if you're using a boost jump maybe you have to hold down your lethal button and then press jump to get the boost jump or you know the thing we saw in the trailer where you can sort of strafe to the side get a boost strafe you maybe have to hold down the lethal button what would be the lethal button and do that while you're moving to the side to get the strafe I mean I don't really know how it's gonna work but it seems like it takes a whole lot more skill than simply little seven-year-olds who can just spam the buttons and just get kills <laughs> in that way, which is sort of pathetic. But anyway, final kill comes here. I hope you enjoy the gameplay commentary, guys. Uh, probably not many of you will watch this, but leave a comment down in the description box below. If you're watching this and you're new to this channel and you don't really know what I'm doing, I'd advise you to check out one of the other two videos. At the end of this video, I'll give you a little outro clip so you can check out another couple of videos see if you enjoy thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time